Hi everybody, this is Nikki and I'm here to do a quick demonstration, um, a on the fly demonstration that is personal experience, my own sideways way of handling things and no medical advice whatsoever. Um, because my friend Ben Inghart asked me the other day how to help him get back onto his T-Slim when he already had a sensor in session. Um, and because I was doing the same thing tonight as I'm going back onto my T-Slim, I thought I would try to get it on video um, just to see if I could get any of the steps so that it might make sense. Um, it might be a long shot, <laughs> but that's okay. So basically, um, the things I need to do when I have a sensor already in session and I'm putting on my T-Slim is, um, I'm using, I use a phone, um, for my Dexcom app and then I use my pump. So I need to make sure that on both of these things, I have the correct transmitter ID. And I want to say that that's probably the biggest thing that gets people because you put the transmitter ID in your pump um, and then you forget to do it with the phone or you put it in the phone and forget to do it in the pump. And so what will happen is you'll get a reading in one place or in the other, but not everything will be in sync. Um, so the number one troubleshooting thing is if you're trying to get everything back online again um, and things aren't syncing up, first double check to make sure your transmitter ID has been updated on both of those devices. Um, I cannot show you right now on my phone where to do it, but it's in your app um, and it's gonna be under settings. You can't see that anyway. Um, I've already entered mine and it's still connecting with the transmitter, which um, I had to reinstall my app tonight. So that's why that's happening. But in general, it would be very simple just to go into your settings and go into um, transmitter ID and change it. On the pump, it is equally as simple. Um, I'm obviously not in control IQ yet, so everything is looking kind of drab. Um, but here is my here's my menu. I'm gonna go to options, and I'm gonna go down. I don't think you can see any of this. I'm gonna go down to where it says my CGM, and I do want to start the sensor, but I can't start the sensor until I've updated my transmitter ID. So I'm going to go down here, I'm going to touch transmitter ID, and I'm going to enter my transmitter ID. Um, and I'm going to be very careful when I do this because they kind of got the old school thing. So as long as the letter is the first of the three, so for instance, G-H-I, mine's a G, I will just, I'll push the G. Um, same thing is true for the D because it's the first D E F. On the third one, when I have an H, it's G H I, so I have to push that button twice um, in order to get the H to come up. So you just want to double check because you're doing this. Make sure you're putting in the right letters. Um, so I'm H A G D H. Sorry. Um, N A. Okay. HGD, HNA. I'm going to hit OK. Verify, enter ID again. OK. Verifying it. Setting saved. I'm still connecting with the transmitter here. So that is the correct transmitter ID. And now I'm going to go ahead and go to start sensor. I do know my code. Which is 5937. And I'm going to hit enter and hopefully this will show me something. Code confirmed. You are ready to start your CGM. New sensor readings will display. Yep, start sensor. Sensor started. Okay. Um, and there's my little screen letting me know that my sensor has been started. Um, so this should be good. And once this is up, I can go back into control IQ. And this should also be good. This is, like I said, I just had to, I had to reinstall, or I guess I had to re-download or whatever my um, app tonight. So this is like the first time I'm putting the transmitter ID in. So it's taken the long route, but typically it would be very simple to change the transmitter on here as well as in pump, start session. And I think you probably have to start the session on there too. I think that the, you might not need to enter a code there. Um, but if you need the code in one place, then prepare to have the code in the other. That's it. Um, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a splendid Wednesday. Bye-bye. <laughs>